Good day everyone, welcome to TLE 9 Cookery, Quarter 3. For today's video, we will discuss the classification of sandwiches. Are you ready to learn? If you are ready, let's get started. Before we start, let's review with our previous discussions. Number 1. Give at least three tools, utensils, and equipment needed in preparing sandwiches. Number 2. Why is it important for us to use tools, utensils, and equipment in preparing sandwiches? And number 3. What are your hygienic practices at home when preparing any dish? I hope that you fully understand our previous discussions. For today's lesson, you should be able to Number 1. Identify type and classification of sandwiches. Number 2. Differentiate the type and classification of sandwiches. And number 3. Demonstrate safe and hygienic practices in preparing sandwiches. Picture Analysis Direction, analyze the picture, then, answer the questions. Write your answer in your notebook. Here are your guide questions. Number 1. What are the three items in the pictures? Number 2. Describe each food item. And number 3. Which item does not belong to the group? Why? The three items are food items. Hamburger, cupcake, and sandwich. Among these three food items, cupcake does not belong to the group, since hamburger and sandwich contains fillings such as meat products and vegetables. What is a sandwich? Sandwich is a food typically consisting of vegetables, sliced cheese or meat, placed on or between slices of bread. The sandwich started as a portable finger food in Western world. Classification of Sandwiches Number 1. Cold sandwich is a plain sandwich made up of bread preferably a day old, bread, toasted if desired and on which butter can be readily spread. And number 2. Hot sandwich consists of hot fillings, usually meats but sometimes fish, grilled vegetables, or other hot items, between two slices of bread. Types of cold sandwiches Number 1. Open-faced sandwiches are type of sandwiches similar to canapes, a type of French or d'oeuvre where make use one kind of bread and have fillings on the top. The slice of bread can be cut into rounds, triangles, or squares. Mayonnaise or butter is spread lightly on top and pieces of cheese or meat fillings are placed on top. These type of sandwiches may be garnished with slices of carrots, raisins, pickles and the like to make them more attractive. Number 2. Regular cold sandwiches are those plain sandwich having a two slices of bread, spread and filled with a cold filling. The crust of the bread may or may not be removed. Butter, mayonnaise or a prepared sandwich spread may be used as lining to prevent the bread from absorbing moisture from the filling. Also, it ensures that the bread and the filling will stick together. Number 3. Pinwheels are made of flat bread or bread cut into lengthwise about 3 8 inch thick. Fresh bread is used because it is easy to roll and will not easily crack. The bread crusts should be trim and flattened with rolling pin. Spread bread with softened butter or margarine or any smooth filling such as cream cheese, cheese pimiento, marmalades, jams, jellies or peanut butter. Smooth fillings are preferably used because they do not have bulk and can be spread thinly on bread surface. Roll each bread like a jelly roll then wrap each rolled sandwich individually and chill for several hours or until they are firm. When ready to serve, unwrap the rolled sandwiches and cut into half-inch slice. Number 4, tea sandwiches are also referred to as a finger sandwich. They are small fancy sandwiches made from light and delicate ingredients with bread that has been trimmed the crusts. Tea sandwiches are often cut into fancy shapes such as rectangles, squares and oblong. The fillings and spread can be similar as those for canapes. This type of sandwich is meant to be eaten in the afternoon tea time to stave off hunger until the main meal. Number 5. Multi-decker sandwiches are composed of more than two slices of bread and with several ingredients in the filling. The club sandwich is a classic example which have three pieces of toasted bread, bacon, lettuce, tomato, and turkey filling. The toast is layered with mayonnaise. The sandwich is cut into quarters and served. Club sandwich is a popular multi-decker sandwich made of three slices of toast and filled with sliced chicken, mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato and bacon and cut into triangles. And number 6. Wrap or rolled sandwiches are sandwiches in which the fillings are wrapped like a Mexican burrito. 
Wrap sandwich is made with a soft flatbread similar with a large flour tortilla rolled around a filling. They may be served whole or cut in half size. Types of hot sandwiches. Number 1. Regular hot sandwiches are simple hot sandwiches composed of hot fillings. Hot fillings are usually meat, but sometimes fish, grilled vegetables, or other hot items placed between two slices of bread. Other items that are not hot like a slice of tomato, cucumber or onion are also used. Hamburger is best example of regular hot sandwich. Number 2. Hot open-faced sandwiches are sandwiches made by placing buttered or unbuttered bread covering with hot meat or other hot fillings with a gravy, sauce, cheese or other toppings. Hot open-faced sandwich is eaten with a knife and fork. Number 3. Grilled sandwiches are also called toasted sandwiches. Two slices of bread with fillings, grilled and then served. These are simple sandwiches that are buttered on the outside and browned on the griddle. It is grilled in a hot oven or in a panini grill. Number 4. Deep-fried sandwiches are made by dipping sandwiches in beaten egg and sometimes in breadcrumbs, and then deep-fry. It is any combination of ingredients enclosed by slices of bread, rolls or batter before being deep in oil and cooked until crisp on the outside and warm on the inside. There is a distinction made between a deep-fried sandwich and one that has simply been fried in shallow oil. Number 5. Filled rolls, focaccia or pita bread are a flavored breads served with dips like quesadillas and burritos. These are filled primarily with cheese and sometimes meats and spices and then cooked. Let us proceed to another activity. Classifying. Direction. Group the following sandwiches as hot or cold sandwiches. Write your answer in a separate sheet of paper and present it creatively. I hope you got them all right, if not, you may play back to the discussions. Why is it important to practice safety and hygiene when preparing sandwiches? For your next activity. Complete the statements. Sandwiches is. There are two classifications of sandwiches, number one is. And number two. Cold sandwich is. The different types of cold sandwiches are the following. Hot sandwich is defined as. The different types of hot sandwiches are the following. Very good. I hope you got them all right, if not, you may play back to the discussions. Let us now proceed with a short quiz. Direction. Choose the letter of the best answer. Write your answers in your notebook. Time is up. Here are the correct answers. I hope you got them all right, if not, you may play back to the discussions. For your performance task. You will make a picture collage. Directions, cut 10 pictures of sandwiches in a newspaper or magazine. You can also clip pictures from the internet. Arrange the pictures and paste them in long bond paper. Label each picture correctly. Output will be graded based on the rubrics. That's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. For similar video like this, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you.